With Catherine Hepburn, I mean, I was terrified because I was playing her in the medium in which she's so iconically known and right. wasn't even playing her in black and white. I was sort of playing her in Technicolor. Um, and you know you can but disappoint. Uh, there was a particular um, challenge that I had, and I don't know whether you felt the same, Bob, but when there's a... Give, given that Mary's side of the story was not heard at the time, um, I felt a very particular personal responsibility to try and sort of rebalance perhaps the... The, um, the ledger, um, but also because Mary is still alive and not well known, um, you know, I, I did feel a personal responsibility, but then you also have to have a lot of creative licence because a film by its very nature, it's, it's, you know, we don't, it's not a Mahabharata version of the events. You only have a certain amount of time so certain things get omitted and, and therefore certain details stand out um, more strongly. So I was very nervous when I, I heard that Dan and Mary were you know, seeing the film for the first time. <laughs> I'm sure. But one of the interesting, you, one of the ways you get into her humanity, it seems to me, is the way she deals with her father, which I think is an unusual thing. And then there's an amazing scene at the end of the movie about yeah. that. And, and I just wondered if that was, like, important to you to have that sort of human, some humanizing, thing, not just the professional aspect, which is fascinating, but that sort of personal human side. Well, that, the, the relationship with the father was sort of peppered in Mary's book, but also, I mean, that's part of um, Jamie's direction, um, you know, that he began as, you know, as the screenwriter who wrote the play, uh, the, the, the script, where am I, what day is it? Um, and, uh, I mean, it's, you, as an actor, you do put your character on the couch a little bit and you do some amateur psychologising, and you don't want to overplay that stuff because Mary certainly didn't herself, but she did grow up in a violent and hilarious household. And I think that's, um, and she shares with Dan, if I may say, probably a, a hatred of hypocrisy and of bullies. And that came, you know, to her from a very early age. 